Hi Pisces, what is up guys? So this is going to be a reading from 8th to 15th of January. Let's see what's cooking up here, what messages you need to know. Wheel of Fortune is here, interesting. And these cards are, are coming up, okay. So we have Five of Wands to the Ace of Cups, interesting, okay. So there can be some conflict surrounding how to start. Ace of Cups is a new beginning and there is some opinion conflicts uh, surrounding how to start this. Okay. Pisces. So what do you need to know here? Pisces, what's happening in your love life here? We have Nine of Pentacles, King of Cups and the Six of Cups. Now, you're trying it very strongly to stay independent of something. I see this week is starting with a beautiful energy where you are free from something, right? You're feeling independent. You're feeling that you have that beautiful energy to not to care about some things which don't really bother, right? This is a very selectively caring energy, Nine of Pentacles. It's not totally fool. It's not totally careless and not totally, uh, you know, I don't give a fuck kind of energy. But on the other hand, it's selective. It cares. It loves it. It, it cares, you know. This energy here is loving the freedom. It's the open bird, loving the freedom, loving the money, loving the rewards that are growing. And you're just enjoying your current state, independent, free and loving yourself more than anybody else. There is a Cancer Pisces Scorpio here, so this can be your own energy also Pisces and uh, there are emotions, there's somebody in your surroundings, I see a soulmate energy, I see court cards as other people, right, so there are sufficient cards in tarot to depict your personal state, so court cards are usually things coming towards you and people in your surroundings. So King of Cups can be a Cancer Pisces Scorpio, someone who's uh, with whom you've shared an intense bond, right? Doesn't matter what gender it is, but I see that you have shared a very intense bond with this person and there are a lot of emotions. No matter how much you uh, love your present energy, Pisces, I see there are memories surrounding this specific person which are keeping, keeping you stuck a little bit, not really too much but a little bit, these memories keep on coming back. For some of you, I'm getting this message that this person is very emotional for you and you have shared something very intense with this person and their memories are actually all over your mind and this person is telepathically trying to connect with you, right? You are wondering and thinking about them and it's a two-way road. This person is really missing you. For some of you, I see because this card is coming in the center, I see this is their emotion. No matter how independent you try to act, this person is really thinking about you, they're wondering about you and they're missing you. They're missing you a lot. So we're going to clarify this energy, Pisces. Why is this person in the in your memories? And uh, for, uh, for some of you, I do see that there is lack of communication or there's lack of... Um, eye-to-eye -eye conversation i don't know if you're talking right now or not but they're looking in at the other side they're looking at the past they're looking at the memories but they're holding a very big cup for you in the center so okay taking it forward first of all i want to know okay this devil energy showing up king of wands oh interesting a fire sign aries the osage might be also interested in you and you're trying to keep yourself at a good distance from all the unhealthy environment Nine of Pentacles is that energy, but I see this person is coming to reach out to you and this might end up in a third party for some time. So, at least in your mind, your third parties are just that um, you have more than one influence. That doesn't have to be too intense. So, um, when we say third parties, we just say that there are influences. That doesn't mean that someone is cheating or something like that, right? It's a general reading. Keep an open mind. Moving forward. Pisces. First of all, I want to know what is this uh, air sign, this water sign, I'm sorry. What is this person uh, bringing up for you? Because I see this person has a lot of emotion for you. Even if this is not a water sign, this person has a lot of love for you. A lot of love for you. 
So uh, why are they showing up here? What do they want you to know? Okay, we have Knight of Cups, Seven of Wands. I see someone tried offering you a new beginning here and you are strongly resisting it right now. I see some kind of resistance in your energies. Not, we'll see why are you resisting it. We have, okay, we have, oh, okay. We have Three of Pentacles, Nine of Cups and Two of Swords. This person wants to work out things with you. Pisces, they really want to work it out with you. I see that um, they're sitting quite happy and content. For some of you, I see some things are happening here. You both are working stuff out. They want reconciliation for sure. They want to work things out with you. And Two of Swords, they're quite puzzled how to initiate it, you know. I see that you both are somehow content in your personal arena. You're happy, you're independent in your personal space and they're happy and they're content in their personal space. But I see they're quite puzzled how to tell you that that uh, they want reconciliation. For few of you, if this is not any kind of issue, I see that this is some new beginning also taking place. So maybe the conflict here is that how to start it, how to start it. Four of Wands to the Three of Cups, I feel here, um, Pisces, that someone is really confused how to ask you out. Yeah. It's a very positive energy. There's no negative influence on this reading. I see that this person is all puzzled and confused, thinking that what's happening with Pisces is beautiful. How we are moving forward is beautiful. Their energies are really good and they have this emotion to take things forward. Now the problem is that how should we do that? Maybe there's a conflict surrounding how to start. So this person is all confused how to ask you out. I am strongly picking up that they want to make a confession, but but they're not able to. They're very confused here. Okay, let's see what else. What is the Six of Cups energy? What is the Six of Cups energy? Yeah, okay, Pisces. Oh my God. Page of Cups to the Knight of Cups. They so want to tell you that. Yes. I think you already know this person and uh, if you were on a communication gap because of some reason and you were trying to adapt to your beautiful independent environment they're coming back and uh, if you're already going on uh, there's already something going on between you both I see that they, they want to ask you out but they're very puzzled how to do that taking it forward let us see what else is coming up for you Okay, so we have Magician, we have Star, oh my god. <laughs> okay, so you, you guys are definitely heading towards a beautiful encounter. I don't know if this is a confession being made or um, you're going to accept it or not, but I see you have something on your mind. You know what, Pisces, your personal energies are so powerful, so beautiful that love for some of you might be at the back seat right i don't know that um, you're actually looking for a relationship right now or not because magician with the nine of pentacles energy is a kind of energy of success kind of energy of um, loving your per present and en present environment you're successful and you know how to be successful further you have all the tools available in your work life i see you're loving your finances and uh, you're manifesting something you're the magician so no matter, no whatever no matter whatever comes to you in this time period i see you're going to deal with it in a beautiful way and uh, this person can see that this person can see that maybe that's the reason why they're so confused because they, they love you the way you are but on the other hand they want to take these things forward Especially when they see you so good in your personal arena, they don't want to uh, create an imbalance in the situation, but they want you to know that they are with you. This person is also might be afraid, uh, I'm picking up that they might also be afraid about your terms and conditions in the situation, right? Maybe right now, they're just looking at the rosy side, but somewhere at heart, they feel that some adjustments are required to take things forward. There can be some your some of your requirements there can be some of their requirements and a lot is happening here queen of swords shows me very sharp energy here so 
maybe you want this person to come in front of you and talk to you about something i see they're ready to invest and um, there's some kind of difference between you both for some of you i see the level of independence and the level of financial stability is different and um, there are some things that need to be worked out here i heard prenup for some of you i don't know why but who needs it someone specific out there might be needing that this so <laughs> okay but yes there are some things that need to be um, clarified here right i want to know what is the star energy i see this whole situation is uh, full of hope full of uh, promise this is very promising energy and this can definitely take you to somewhere at least this whole week i see very positive energy and with a lot of good motivation you're moving forward i do see stars so let me see what are your hopes and expectations here you're hoping for something to come out of the situation your investment is definitely high but on the other hand you're hoping that this person will understand your boundaries now queen of swords is the card of healthy boundaries and uh, for someone i heard that their love is so much that it sees no boundaries but you on the other hand are a little more practical right now so you want to put some boundaries here what is the star energy what you're looking for what you're hoping for i see five of cups eight of cups and hermit okay so i see you have been through your own experiences right for some of you i'm getting a message that before you actually entered this massive amazing energy of yours you have been through some shitty things right there were missed opportunities there were some dissatisfied energies you walked away from and i see that still um hurts you somehow hermit shows me that you have had your lessons and that that whole experience has made you wise somehow right now hermit definitely looks for a star and you are the star now this is your current energy so but to become a star you have been through all this lately so you don't want things to end up that way for some of you i see that uh, something has happened and you regret it in the past and it might not be with this person with somebody else maybe recently you had an experience that was hurtful and you have had a good lesson out of it you're walking away from it but not alone but with a lot of lessons hermit is a very very wise energy hermit wanted the star and hermit has the star now so so you're loving your energy with the star here but on the other hand you want this person to know that what you have been through right and whatever this uh, amazing practical energy you have the magician energy go get a energy you have it is it is not just like that you know come to you with a price and you want this person to know that so let us see what is this queen of swords what boundaries are you setting here and what are you telling this person what do you need to tell this person maybe we have ace of swords queen of oh my god and this is exactly what we are picking up so you know what i see that you have been carefree but now it's the time to be careless <laughs> the fool is here the page of cups is here the king of swords is here okay so for some of you again the very message that we got in the beginning was conflict surrounding a new beginning and i see i'm totally getting why we had that message because the boundaries have to be set the rules have to be set some contract has to be made ace of swords with the queen of swords shows me that you are ready for this beginning definitely you guys are heading towards a new beginning in love but uh, this time it's not just a rosy romantic start you want it to be equally practical also right and uh, this person is bringing in a lot of romance but you on the other hand wants to be very nurturing and caring in the situation right you want to make it clear what are your uh, personal requirements i'm strongly picking up that you have some personal requirements uh, this can be about your work life maybe you're making it very clear to this person that uh, i'm working at so and so level i'm working with so and so people this is my job this is my work this is my um whatever you're creating for yourself in your world right manifestation the magician mode you want this person to understand that and you want a healthy support in that this is that intense energy where you both need to talk it out right the good thing here is that 
they will come up with their own boundaries as well. Once you start negotiating, once you start telling this person what your requirements are, they are also going to be coming up with it. And that is that might lead to a conflict for a moment. I'm not denying that, but I'm strongly picking up that once you both work it out, once you show them that what you truly are, the kind of stability you have, the kind of nurturing energy from within you have, then I see strong earth energy from within you. And the kind of investment you're ready to give in the connection, I think you both are going to be coming to a good understanding here. And eventually it's leading to the start, the new beginning in love you're waiting for. So if you're waiting on to a relationship, I see it's, it's possible because this is so much affection. No matter this person might be coming up front for a moment to set the record right and, you know, <clears throat> might come up as saying that, okay, if these are your requirements, these are mine. If you want this stuff, I want this. If you're looking for this kind of relationship, I'm looking for this. There's going to be some healthy com conversation here. There's possibly a healthy conversation here, but I see eventually it's leading to a beautiful start here. So the much needed communication is here and the much needed clarity is also here, right? Amazing energy, amazing energy, Pisces. So last but not the least, I just wanna know what advices we have for Pisces here. Stay optimistic about your love life. Pisces, this clearly shows that these, these are your inner emotions. Star is the hope to take over the past bad emotions. You have been through your own experiences, but do not let that take over you. Stay optimistic because once you start thinking positively, this is positive thinking. This is the card of hope, right? Once you put this faith into the connection, all is going to work out, right? So don't think negatively. They have a lot of love for you. So much so that my whole table is flooding with cups. Moving forward, Pisces. We have it safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. So open your heart to this connection, Pisces. I see that free energy, that energy of freedom, that energy of um, being carefree and careless in love. So I see that's happening. This is a very romantic week I'm picking up for some of you. Playfulness to recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. So, wow, it's a beautiful reading. And it's all uh, working out here and the fresh start you want is coming up, right? So these are the messages I have for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.